Hello and welcome to Base Squad Tracks, episode 4 of the series. So if you've been keeping up with my video series at all, thank you for all the views, all you out there. Um, basically what this is, is the Atari Punk Console mod. Mods, finally. I finally got my parts from Jameco. Uh, Jameco is great, they package everything perfectly, no damaged parts. Everything works great. I highly recommend them. Very easy. Shipping was a little pricey, but for how cheap the actual components were, I don't mind paying $8 shipping when you can get 555 timer for 22 cents or whatever it is now. So, basically, I'm going to show you some mods for the Atari Punk console. And we're just going to start off by showing you the playing Atari Punk console. This is unmodified, just straight from Forest Wind's book. Timer op amp and Opti Electronic Circuits and Projects. Great book. Picked mine up on Amazon for 14 bucks. Great book. Lots of great projects in there. Some op amp stuff. Starting to get into that a little bit. If there's any cool projects in there, I'll I'll show you. But uh, basically, for now, I'll actually try and find the page. We're talking about the stepped tone generator. You can see that. And it's pretty simple. All it really needs is uh, a few basic components, two potentiometers, a resistor, speaker, 556 timer. Nothing that I didn't really have. It's just for all the mods I wanted to do. That's why it took me so long to put it up, because I didn't have all the parts to do every single mod that I wanted to show. So, I'll just start off by showing you the plain Atari Punk console. Let me just get my stereo turned on. Basically what this is, is it's just a line in to my stereo, connected through the speaker. So all it's doing is taking the sound and amplifying it so it's a little bit easier for you to hear. Because this is just a small 8 ohm speaker, it's not exactly easy to hear everything on from the distance of the microphone is and everything. So let's give this a shot, see if I have to adjust the volume at all. Okay, this should work. Ignore the joystick, or er, one plus. Ignore the ignore the joystick for now. This is the first mod I'm going to be showing you, but uh, this is just the sound of the normal Atari Punk console. Normally, you would just use these uh, potentiometers. This is a one meg ohm. You've probably seen them before. I've got three leads on them. Okay, so let's get started. <laughs> So that was basically a really short demonstration of the Atari Punk console. So basically, that's just the standard Atari Punk console schematic. We'll be right. Okay. So now that you've built your Atari Punk console, pause the video or whatever. If you haven't, you can keep watching. Maybe some of these will persuade you into building something like this. So basically, that was just the standard Atari Punk console. The sound, anyway. Normally, you would turn me with the potentiometers and all that. But this is an old Atari Logitech joystick that my uncle gave me. He had it just lying around for like an old computer or something. And he let me take it apart, hack into it, whatever I wanted to do. So I gladly accepted that offer, took it apart, found out there were potentiometers inside. They were about, I think they were about 150,000 ohms, which is good enough to build one. Normally you would use 500,000 ohm potentiometers. But these get the job done perfectly. They work just fine for my needs. So basically, all I did was open it up, figure it out. You could see the colors of the wire and then cut the end off and traced it back. Used my multimeter a little bit, tried to figure out how all the connections were. That was the most time consuming part in this mod actually, was just trying to figure out all these connections. It's just a rat's nest of wiring here. And I have to I had to figure out which we did what. And there's also a button on here. I didn't show this in my demo and I'll show you that really quick. Basically what the button does is I added another capacitor and when you clo when you close the button it basically 
complete the circuit and add the potentiometer into pin 6. So, it probably sounds kind of confusing. If you look at the schematic again, I'm sure you will get it. But basically, it just lowers the pitch, as you can hear now. So that was just a really short demonstration of that. Really simple mod. Nothing too complex, just you have to figure out all the connections. Which only took maybe 20-25 minutes. And I'm new to all this circuit branding stuff and everything. So, if you're experienced at this, it could take you less time, theoretically. So, uh, next, I'll show you computer case fan mod. I've only seen this in a couple of spots. I think it's pretty uncommon. I hope to get it out there so that other people can see it. Because it's really cool. I like it a lot. It's pretty fun. Didn't take long to build. Another very simple one. I'm going to start with some of the simpler ones. Move up into the more complex ones. There's going to be lots of pauses in the video because I really only have three breadboards and all. And one has a power adapter on it that I'm working on, or an uh, old regulator, I think. So I only have the two to work with right now, and for all the mods I have to show, there's going to be a little bit of taking apart, reassembling. So bear with me if there's the editing's not great, but that's okay. This is informative. So, I'll show you the case fan mod right now. One second. Oh, should I connect the stereo? And you should be able to hear it as soon as it turns on. Okay, that's plenty loud. So, but tune it to a higher frequency. Okay, this will work. So basically, there's two the, there's two case fans. I'll explain how they're hooked up, but I'll show you the effect first. demonstration basically I didn't get into it too much but hopefully it was enough for you to see the cool effects you can do especially with two of them you could do this mod with just one case fan but I used the two that gives you a lot to work with to make some pretty cool effects by combining the two so basically this one the one that's just making the almost sound like a telephone when I went like this this is probably the uh, a little bit more complex to figure out, uh, but basically I used a three lead fan, I'm not sure if it would work with two leads because I only have the two lead fan, and this one I hooked up first. But basically I have the negative lead attached to the potentiometer, and the blue lead attached to pin 13. So basically this gets between the potentiometer and the actual 556. And that's how it produces the cool sound. It changes the voltage that it's getting, is to my knowledge anyway. And when you spin it, it changes the voltage, and you can get some pretty cool effects. Sounds like a telephone. Really simple mod. Took me maybe 10 minutes to figure out. Just for the fact that um, I already saw it somewhere, so I already knew how to do it for the most part. But he was using a I think it was a two-lead fan, like this one. So I had to figure out how it worked best. Because I think it works pretty much any way you hook it up. It's just how well it works. This gives you the best effect, for sure. Or at least in my testing, anyway. Maybe if you added something, you could make it sound different. But that's not the point right now. Then this fan, this was making a uh, kind of a raising, it raised the pitch a little bit as you, or it, it lowered the pitch and then it raised back up as the fan slowed down. This is another really simple one. Two lead fan. Negative lead is hooked up to... The negative lead, get this, the negative lead is hooked up to positive 9 volts. 
which is what I'm running this up. And then the, then the positive lead is hooked up to the control voltage pin, the CV pin on the 556, which is pin 11. So another really simple one, didn't take me long at all to figure this one out. This one was basically just hooking it up. So really simple overall for these two basic ones. Um, I think I'm going to break this into two videos. These are the basic mods and how to build the Atari Punk console. So I'll see you in the next part of the video. I'll just post that right after this one. But if you just want two simple mods, stop right here. But if you want to see some other cool ones, click on the next video. It might be on my channel because there's a chance that it won't be in the side link. I'll just name it. Uh, I'll just name that one Basic Electronics Episode 4.5. So basically, that's it for this part of the episode. Hope to see you next time. Have a nice day.